Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host Jake. Today I'm joined by Bragg from Braggio. Hi. And Ben from Nolan TCG. He almost said from again. No, I almost started with you and I know you get bitchy about changing orders, so I didn't. That's not where the f- sound comes from. From? He said from. He went, I've been, I'm joined by Bragg. Uh, I'm joined well, f- <laughs> br- from Bragg, Braggio. By Bragg. So there's another F sound I can make, but it's too early in the podcast. So yeah, imagine that. Early, yeah. and, uh, Be on your best you. behavior. Unless we use that as the... How was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's start with you, Ben. I watched Jake buy a fuckload of magic product today. Yeah, oh. I mean, I didn't like technically speaking, didn't spend that much, but I cracked a lot. Was it pre-release or something? Like that? No, no, we do, they do like a promo box that's like forty-five, uh, forty bucks. You get a collector's booster and five booster packs, and we were just cracking them. And if you got enough value back, we were just spilling. Oh yeah, the store I love buying that. another one. Yeah, yeah I yeah, had yeah. the appetite to crack packs, and someone came in and bought all of the new product. Yeah. So I was left with nothing. We to didn't buy have Yu-Gi-Oh than... product, so instead Jake bought Magic product. Yeah. Overall, I didn't spend that much, and I got some cool cards out of it, so... Yeah. yeah. I got but, two boxes in and was like, I'm a stop. Like, that's the thing I don't mind about Magic, where you go, Oh, it's a green card that's worth 80 bucks. I'm never going to use this. That's going to get $80 of value. Give me... So, I need more red. <laughs> more red. Tom, Tom, uh, Tom ended up cracking, like, five boxes, and on the fifth box, he hit a card that was worth, like, 150 bucks, and he's like, I should stop. <laughs> yes, Tom. Yes, yeah. Tom, you should stop. Um... So that was that part of the week. Um, outside of that, played Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, Tuesday night, X1. Today, X1. Uh, not having Promethean Princess today really showed that, fuck, that card is really... Do be important, yeah. Yeah. Uh, don't know when I'm going to get it. Yeah. I uh, haven't even got the notification. Some stuff's been shipped. Uh, anyone who ordered Popless is probably going to take a while yeah because like the popular uh popular i'm not gonna say it's short printed but when you open 11 cases and get like 17 maybe uh yeah. not the best sign in the world but i hit one from my box so i can't complain uh but now i need a promethean princess yes yes you just, do just gotta wait for my second popular and my promethean to come in now along with goblins um but yeah outside of that not too bad. Like, the deck fundamentally works fine. It's just that Promethean Princess, man. It's so much better than going into Selene. Yep. It's so much better. Yep. And that was my week in Yu Gi Oh! I also played a bunch of Master Duel. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I. Yeah, we'll cover that. Yeah, we will. Brag! Yeah, Master Duel. That's about it. I. Yeah, my my Promethean princesses and poplars are ages away. Don't know what I'm going to do. Voiceless voice is going to be pretty annoying to assemble before YCS. What, we're three weeks out now? Four. Three to bed. A bit. Uh, yeah, so I don't know what I'm doing that. Master Jewel, uh, Snake Eye stuff dropped. <gasps> we talked about that last week, didn't we? No. You spoiled the news. Well, I'll do my... Um, my patent and uh, tune in later in the podcast. First time I've ever said it, and Ooh, I stumbled. Redacted. <laughs> my oh. patented phrase that I've said you once can, and fucked it. Uh, patent for sale. Uh, yeah, it's kind of silly in Master Jewel. There's what's it missing? It's missing. Oh well, fire. I, fire. It's missing fire to go with it. Uh, did, oh, it's missing the salad, like the the salad link, which is no, pretty annoying. Missing the salad link, how dare you? But you can play the whale. Like, yeah. Like, it's much the muchness. Uh, it's so... Oh, I need to find my... Zylantis? Yeah. Somewhere. I, yeah. I, I might still have one at home, if all else fails. Uh, and yeah, so I'm playing Snake Eyes with uh, Gate Guardian cards at the moment. Uh, it has not come up yet, uh, Snake putting back one of the Gate Guardians as a continuous spell. I imagine it will come up, though. Hopefully. But it won't, because it's kind of bricky. You're like, oh, cool. I can discard Gate Guardian cards for my combo. Woo! And, and then you put them back. Yeah. Or you, know, you might end up with a Gate Guardian in the end. Like, just trying to get... Where the Gate Guardian cards can help you play through Nib. But I'll always just set it up going, Oh, I can stop Imperm with, um, by putting the Gate Guardian up first. And there's like... So I was kind of choosing. What am I trying to play around? Imperm or Nib? 
and on Master Duel, you have no chance of being able to play around the right card because the one you pick will be the one they don't have. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Ah, well. We'll see in this year of fire if I will play fire. How about you, Jake? Uh, yeah. So, still tossing up on what deck I end up playing for YCS. Um, like, I quite enjoy playing the Hawkist. But the problem with Hawkist is when it opens bad, it opens real bad. So it's not even like, oh, I can put up a kind of semi-competent board. It's like, I can maybe normal summon. Like, it's just real bad. Uh, that was our game on Monday, on Tuesday. Yeah, so Tuesday I went X2 <laughs> and opened hideously and lost to, like, basically any form of interaction, which Ben had because, obviously, fire, you get to play a lot of non-engine. Um, today, though, today was good. Um, like, I lost to the fully built um, fire deck. Mainly because, like, I haven't really built this version of Hawkus to play around that version. Because I'm, like, still working things out. So there's things I can change within it that'll make it better. Um, yeah, but there's other plans in the back of my head. So it may need to start dueling with friends in order to work out which of those options would be the better one. Yeah. But the thought of doing that is sending me into a depression spiral that I don't know if Does I'll ever recover Just duel against from. actual friends. I like could Glenn do that. from Chicago. <laughs> I could do that. Anyway, there's a bit to think about there. Uh, and in Master Duel, it's become an absolute shit show and I hate it. That's beautiful. It's disgusting yeah. and I don't know why they've done it. Yeah. So let's discuss it now. Yeah. Uh, so announced in the Tokyo Dome and then uh, obviously brought in a little bit later, uh, they Night have decided... The Tokyo Dome, hence where we didn't cover it. But also, we kind yeah, of... Yeah, yeah. Oh, man, but also we kind of did talk about it. Well, I'm, no, I'm we, pretty we, sure I we, heavily mentioned... We cannot have, because we did the podcast on day one, so we can't have possibly mentioned day two. I did... Uh, the, man we, who we don't I, talk about leaks here. I was like, we didn't talk about any Master Jewel news. Uh, they're hinting towards the fire stuff. Because it wasn't just a league. Otherwise, we move. Yes, so, a uh, bunch of stuff. Uh, so, firstly, they've introduced a sort of returning or new player campaign. Uh, where you can share a campaign code on your friend code to people that are either returning to the game or just starting the game. If I remember, and... they're at the bottom of our title cards at the start of this episode. I mean, I started a thread in the Discord. Well, actually, I say I started. Someone else started a this thread in the Discord. Take it away, my code, people. What? That it's this. You can do multiple. My things. adoring fans will use the codes that you provided first. It's not a one v one type scenario. They can do multiple. Ben. Uh, when I looked at the what when I looked at what you get for it, so it's all sword soul stuff. Uh, basically, yeah. Um, so yeah, you get some sleeves, you get an icon. Yeah. Um, like the top reward is that you get a sword soul structure deck. Yeah, yeah. it just kind of screams, "This is a free bonus. There's no point in having it." Yeah, it's supposed to get people back playing again. Yeah, yeah. like get them so, back playing sword soul. So make it a fire deck. No, should have done fire. You kings. have to pay for fire. Should have done fire kings. Oh yeah, fire kings aren't in there. Yeah, Vikings aren't there. No rescue so, uh, with that well, in mind... It's not that bad. I've lost don't, a couple. Don't, don't, don't get him fucking started on I've this shit. lost a couple. He's been it's not the worst. He's, d don't. Yeah, just that's don't. Just on the don't. podcast. We'll get there after this. It's yes. not even worth doing on the podcast. It's oh. not good content. It's just him going... Me, me, me. Is that anyway. not the podcast? Anyway, so... Uh, as anyone who's playing Master Duel at the moment is aware, they have also accelerated the release of uh, the Diablo Star Snake Eyes package mm -hmm. uh, to the extent where even Poplar is in there. Yeah, which I, is fucking bonkers. I'm sure we knew. I'm sure. I'm sure there was enough hints to everything, but Poplar. Poplar's like wild. That's. It's so bizarre that they've gone so in on fire. Released in Master Duel before released here. Yeah, technically speaking, they had it two days before we could legally play it. Yeah. Legally. Yeah. Four days, I okay. No, three days. Three, Monday. Three. Three. Wednesday? Three, 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 Wednesday three, night. Three. I feel like it was a quiet two. day at work, so it wouldn't have been mm -hmm. Monday. One. Or at least Wednesday night. It's like, it was like six hours. Yeah. <laughs> at least like 6 p.m. Wednesday. This says February 7th. When was February 7th? I thought it was Monday. Wednesday. It was Wednesday? Yeah. Ah, there you go. Monday was the 9th. 
So yeah, 24 hours before. They got it six hours early. Lachlan, if you're watching. It took ages to do the update too. I like, kept going back to my room and it's like, no, no, not ready yet. I, I must have clicked it right on because I clicked it, it opened all fine. I saw the card list and went, oh, crazy, posted it, then went and saw that Twitter posted like the same time I posted it. <laughs> I'm like, must have just been live. First popular and Master Jewel. Haven't resolved its spell, spell search effect yet, but... <laughs> Um, a lot of it is you are, unsurprisingly. Yeah. Um, it's expensive. It's real expensive. Yeah. And they've had a real bad habit of doing that with a lot of the archetypes that have come out of but late. I'm okay with that. Because when they hit it, you get the gems back. The problem is if they don't hit it, though. And you just have this deck that's, like, extremely consistent and oppressive, just staying around for ages. Ash to one. <sighs> that's the only hit they can do. Get rid of Ash. Uh, outside of that though, there are some uh, second year anniversary uh, little things going on. Uh, so they have a uh, bundle for Blue Eyes. You like Blue um, Eyes kids? So you get 30 master hey, 3, packs uh, with one SI higher every 10 packs, which is normal. Uh, alt art finished Blue Eyes White Dragon. Uh, I don't know what the alt art is. Hang on, is that it there? So, oh, it's like OG Blue Eyes. Yeah. Mm. So they're doing a gem campaign at the moment? Yeah, but I'm getting to that. No, I looked at how much they cost. I just want to say gems are fucking expensive. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's the first time since the game released I've looked at how much gems cost, and I was like, oh boy. Yeah. I didn't think that this was that... This is a hard note. The yeah, last time I went into that menu, I was like, oh, okay, maybe I won't. Cause, but the previous time I went to that menu, I'm like, oh, yeah, that seems fair, and I bought it. So there must have been a slight increase that's Well, swayed. I kept seeing it for other currencies. I didn't see it for ours, but, like, there was a point there where the notification was always at the top of, like, change of... Um, currency type thing but i never saw it for aud so i just assumed it was europe going <laughs> but no that must be us um but yeah back to the blue eyes pack inflation um, on digital currencies you get a blue eyes mausoleum dual digital field. loaf of bread yeah <laughs> it's so expensive uh a blue eyes mausoleum dual field uh blue eyes white dragon protectors uh and a present briefcase card case oh present briefcase card case um, and a blue eyes icon and a blue eyes icon frame and a blue eyes dragon wallpaper uh, all of this sets you back 3000 gems but that is covered within the cost of the 30 master packs so like effectively you're buying 30 master packs and getting all this other stuff for free is probably the way they want you to think about it I'm saving up my gems at the moment I'm playing solo modes oh that's cool um, so in addition to it being alt art I thought he'd pop for that hmm? I, I didn't know I saw him doing it the other day. My surprise is already gone. Oh. Um, with the altar blue eyes that they provide, uh, it has an alternate summoning animation as well. That's like the alternate art. I like the level of detail there. So the good one. You know, I found some of the solo modes. You can just leave your switch plugged in there on Friday night or any time Jake's around. I don't know why. And they just get done. <laughs> oh, I'm not sure. Okay. Yeah, so you yeah. might want to try that You've out. got a little try, try. a cobbler elf for solo modes. Um, as well, we have another bundle that is available, uh, which is the Mate Bundle. Uh, this one is only 10 Master Packs, uh, and the Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon Mate. Uh, and this one, again, just sets you back the cost of the 10 Master Packs that you get of the 1,000 gems. Uh, the Mate actually looks really cool. I did see it in a duel I was watching the other day. Uh, may want to pick that up. Looks nice. I like oh, it. Yeah. Does it say when these campaigns will expire? Uh, I, I don't think I saw it was in the April, which gives me plenty of time. Yeah, they do tend to run them for a long time. Um, as well as this, they've brought back the first anniversary bundle. Um, if you didn't pick that up the first time, which oh, I cool. think is a Godfield, I think maybe yeah, it's oh. the Golden Godfield. Oh, oh, cool. it's the DM. Yeah. It's the DM yeah. one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's the Egyptian. No, no, it's the DM one. No, no, I'm just saying it's like that Egyptian golden field. Yeah, 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 yeah. and it's got the yeah. tablet of blue yeah. eyes and DM on the other. Uh, yeah. yeah, 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 like uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, it's look Chaos Max is probably a good choice for a buddy, considering I think every bastard runs it. I mean, yeah, if you play blue eyes, it is sort of uh, synonymous. You have to play it because they're like, oh, I can flip your stuff face down, and then I can attack for a game. Yeah. Except that never happens because you never have the three pieces necessary to actually summon the fucking thing. Yeah, it's but when you. Uh, creature swap your opponent uh, and give them the incantation that you've just used to search your Chaos Max, you know, then it works. Yeah. You just have to 
open the incantations and the creature swap and the creature swap. Yeah, That's just, two card just open them. I yeah, love, I love creature swap. And your opponent has to have gone first and not had a negation. Yep, just just little things, just little things. Um, we do have a few more selection and secret packs as well. The first one is Name of Champions, uh, which includes um, some stuff. Uh, the main card that people will like, uh, like it has a bunch of URs and stuff that you might want to pick up, like Regeki and Harpy's Feather Duster and stuff like that. Um, and it's mainly like the hero cards of archetypes and stuff. Um, oh, the yeah. one that I've sticks got all out, shit ones. the one that sticks out is the alternate art of Ash with the feet. Uh, that has arrived in Master Duel and I hate it so much. Uh, so you, I think with the alt arts, you have to buy the pack and pull the card to get them. You can't craft you the can alt craft. arts. You can? Yep. Are you sure? Yep. 100%? Yep. Because when I was building Snake Eyes, it said, I typed in Ash. And oh, it came up, but could you craft it? I ain't clicking that. I ain't get put on it. Yeah, see, this is the thing. It happened with IP and uh, Nightmare as well. It'll come up as a card that you can have in your catalogue, but it will not let you craft it. So you have to pull it from the pack. Uh, so if you are cringe and want feet, uh, you have to buy the packs. Uh, the next secret Buddy. pack is um, Guardian of the Sacred Sky. Uh, so that's a rework of an old pack, I'm pretty sure, which was like agents and uh, like. garbage cards. Uh, so this one has the alt art of Appalooza without Appalooza in it. Uh, and also changes the animation. Oh, yeah, I got the Appalooza. Yeah, I pulled that in the first um, lot of packs that I bought, so I was glad, because the IP was definitely not like that. I... Poopies? I don't like these. I like the Appalooza, and I like just mm. having the option of artworks. It's, oh. it's, it's, it's okay. Just on principle, I don't like the Appalooza. Nah, I'm about it. Appalooza's it's not gold not even, rare, so it's fine. Appalooza's not even in this <laughs> Um... Yeah, that's okay. Uh, and then finally, obviously, right into the future is where we get all of the Diablo Star stuff. We also get the uh, Infernoble support that came out not too long ago. They and... get their second batch of support. Yeah. Oh, fuck me. Uh, and then the uh, Cosmic Quasar shit that summons a hot red craft turn. feet. Yeah. Confirmed. Right here. Yeah, no I crafting am, feet. I am so sad, but I already had three Ash Blossoms, so fuck that. But if you pull the feet copies, then you can decraft your other copies. I just won't. I just won't open. I just won't open packs with the feet in them. <laughs> I'll just only open fire packs from here on out. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's where Master Duel's at at the moment. Yeah, um, ladder's a bitch now. <laughs> yeah, ladder kind of sucks. <laughs> I my experience on ladder this morning because I was up very early had was just the grand total of uh, uh, activate a pen scale, get maxi. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, that's my experience with that every sucks. deck. <laughs> and then when it's not maxi, it's draw. I'm like, ah, oh, cool. Yeah, it's not fun. And you don't know. Why don't you just keep playing and win like every other ha super heavy samurai player? Yeah. You see, I've bricked. <laughs> ah. There's the small issue of ah. me being like, ah, yes. I only drew one starter. I, uh, there was one point where I activated, I had one. Uh, Wakash, uh, one of the big samurai in hand. I'm like, activate my scale. My opponent activates maxi. I'm like, I'll pass. My opponent like does some shit. I had some hand traps to stop them. They pass back, and I'm like, draw the second one. I'm like, cool. I I now can't yeah. play. The game is over. I Do you just, have to control a super heavy samurai monster or card? You just can't summon the Wakashi unless you have the other one in deck to place it at the scale. Yeah, yeah, but the other one, can you search with it in scale with the Wakashi? No, it has to be in... It has to be a monster. Yeah, yeah, okay. That's so all of a sudden, I had to just pass. I mean, in fairness, I would feel sorry for you, but you're playing super heavy samurai, so... Bleh. I've readapted, Jake. Uh, I've readapted the classic Ben Strat of... FTK? If my, no, if my opponent... Uh, does anything that makes my day last longer? Uh, I scoop. Next yeah. game. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's it. Really, if the I, only if way. If I you can play get against Super Heavy Samurai, my opponent resolves anything, and I don't have a hand trap. I scoop. The only Nothing. time that I Not will persevere with like bad hands and stuff is when it's the rank up duel, because I feel like sometimes it gives you a bad scoop. hand to make you think on the rank up duels. Scoop. I didn't activate Popple's effect and grab to go back to spell and trap. I'm like, no. Done here. <laughs> oh yeah, I I have oh, one hundred. No. <laughs> I have absolutely fucking shame quit when I like misclick or fuck up a play. I'm like, mm, no, nope, no, run away. 
Um, so, um, I mentioned it before, but we had the Tokyo uh, Dome oh. Day 2 stream uh, the day after our previous recording. Um, it would have been on our normal, but we had to change the schedule. Uh, so, this one was more so aimed at digital releases and uh, projects coming out. Uh, the like they had a bunch of stuff for Duel Links and stuff. I don't give a fuck about any of that. VR um, Duel Links, Jake. Yeah, that's that's what I care about. I mean, like the actual, that was the only Duel Links. They only that? talked about that. No, they had the Mega Summons or whatever the fuck they're called. Oh, oh. Maximum Summon of Seven. That's the one. Look at him. Jake. Call yourself Sevens Rush fans. Look, I don't do that. Ignore what they say about you, Jake. Pull. You pull a good show together. Let's talk about Maximum Summons. Harpies. That is all. Yeah. End of discussion. <laughs> Releasing so. harpies before anything else. Yeah, like, they don't even have, like, the second pack. They released anti-meta when there was no meta. Yeah, they've got the two, they've got the two star, they've got the supplemental decks, and then the first pack, straight to pack 10. Yep. Love it's, it. It's fine. Gotta get the harp. I mean, if Master Duel got an advance of, like, the most broken shit ever, so can fucking rush all I should start yeah. logging into that more often to get those free gems every time a set releases. Yeah. Yes. So that when we get the fusion spell set to play Seven Roads, I can play Seven Roads. Yeah. It plays really well. It's just, yeah, the, the format is a bit ick. It's, like, oh, yeah. you're not even really playing a game. You're just putting cards on the board. Okay. But there will come a point, I hope, where there's some skill. When we start getting those staples. Yeah. They can put those staples in like every fucking set. So as Ben mentioned before, they did do a demonstration of, uh, they called it Dual Links Project something rather, but it's uh, Dual Links, uh, it's Dual Link AI. Oh, oh okay. no, sorry. Way. No, sorry. Yeah. I meant VR. VR first. Sorry, I for- did yeah. the wrong acronym. AI comes next. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it, was a, it was a demonstration <laughs> where I don't even know if the guy was actually playing it. He was just like, everything was like, oh! Ah. It was like watching ah. uh, like those videos you see of old people on VR and they're like on a roller coaster and they run into a wall because they like try to move with it and shit uh, like that. It was more like there were times when he was looking around and going like, oh, oh, but like the yeah, the camera wasn't, wasn't showing that. So I, yeah. was like, I don't know if this is actually happening right now, but yeah. I'm just going to assume that this is something that's like four years away. Yeah, it's going to be a while. I think just with the sheer number of assets, they would have to be able to animate within that game like it's obviously going to be a smaller pool when it first releases but even then like having to do some sort of animation for every card including field spells every field spell like that it that seemed crazy to me to animate a field spell on like either side that's pretty sick though it yeah is, it is cool like if they pull it like, off to a good genuinely quality, if you want me to adopt vr this is it this is yeah. the only thing that has ever had me look at a vr headset and be like you know green's not that bad could we just on holograms Holograms would be great. But we'll VR, get there eventually. Yeah. I summon Kim Kardashian's father. Okay. <laughs> How long until the fucking Apple glass lets yeah, I you was, just fucking put shit I was going to say, like, True. like, the Steam, like, whatever Meta's got going with their one, they've got, if they link up with the Apple one, like, that's like, that's the path to money mm. and this thing uh, lasting longer than a month. Yes. Mm. I'll be keen, but we'll see. Even five years' time when it releases... The CPG household is still operating. We'll buy a VI headset for it. But then we another, move on to the years. Master Jewel AI. Uh, that one, um, really like these impressive. ones, yeah, they had a lot more stories going on with all the other stuff. It took them a while to get around to doing a write up for the AI. Um, so the AI name is Python, um, and it was going fairly well. The demonstration, like it was showing, like, oh, it's this set card of the opponent's likely to be this, so we can do this to play around it, and all these kind of things. And it showed, like, how it calculates its play and its win percentage and all this kind of thing. And it was doing really well because the, like, they had two decks. The AI was playing Blue Eyes. The guy they called up to play was playing Dark Magician. The Dark Magician player opened a It was real bad. the fucking worst hand I think I've seen a Dark Magician play. Uh, and everything was going well for the Blue Eyes AI. Uh, got to like what would be a game-winning state. Uh, threw game away. Uh, <laughs> Just kept going. <laughs> and did the standard AI thing of like, I need to make the biggest thing on the board as possible. So just like threw an alternate on the board after, which he should have done before to then win the game. And then uh, polyed with it. Polyed, polyed with it. it on field. Yeah. But at which point they had cut the streak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is a sort of go for the poly. Like, no. <laughs> throwing and they're like, and uh, we're back. Yeah. Uh, that was really impressive. Good work, guys. 
<laughs> yeah, so the AI has some work to do. Well, I mean, it's on par with a lot of players, though. I mean, yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe that's the problem. Everyone that was versing it at the Tokyo Dome was just a clicky button moron, and it just learnt that, like, oh, I don't want to go for game. I yeah. want to summon my cool shit from the extra deck. It's learnt from the player base. You know, executives getting to do pre playing. Oh, yes. Hmm. Uh, if I link my Dark Magician off uh, and then activate uh, the Fusion Cellar from my hand, uh, that's great. It, it needs more work. And the other thing that you highlighted at the time was that once it gets into like a general player pool, the rogue people of the world are just going to fuck it up. Because it's yeah. going to have that 1% chance of someone playing a Drowning Mirror Force or a fucking Rainbow Life or some shit. And they're like, mm -hmm, I have to play around this. It'll hit Awaking the Dragon and never use Phil and <laughs> ever again. Is it's like 100% chance if you hit the dragons, uh, the Awaking the Dragon, it loses. So it's like, I can never activate back removal because if it's hit the Awaking the Dragon, 100% chance I lose the game. Do you know what would make it a more interesting thing rather than something you verse against? I think it'd be a more uh, interesting training tool. Like, if you could have it analyze different decks and, like, pinpoint, oh, okay, more often than not, if you ash at this point, they have, like, dropped their win percentage yeah. by X amount. Go the full like, combo. Have it copy the best duelist in the world and then just practice against it. That's right. Jake looked at me. I'm prepared for this task. <laughs> what, finding the best duelist? Sure. Being the best. To be the best, you've got to beat the best. Well, I have no doubt in my mind that Ben will hands down be the best goblin rider player that I've ever seen because he'll be the only mm -hmm. one I see <laughs> oh, vroom, vroom. I reckon three <laughs> make day two at YCS but the, the thing is he's not, not gonna play format. it he's not gonna yeah. play it he's gonna play his fucking yeah. Promethean nah, bitch we'll find three will he? Oh, 100% he will. I'm so nervous about fire now you did, no I'm need gonna, to be nervous. When we're doing interviews at YCS, no, I'm going to ask everyone if they're playing goblins. Yeah. You're playing goblins today, sir. I feel like you're opening yourself up for so many uh, goblin D's jokes. <laughs> it's just going to be a goblin D's compilation, basically. If someone says yes, I'll just re retaliate with goblin D's nuts. What's goblin? Who's goblin? Next news story, Jake. Next news story is in relation... Yeah, we are. Uh, so, for the TCG... <laughs> Um, we have announced our next OTS ultis. Oh. Uh, so this was from an official stream. It is Harpy's um, Feather Duster, Chaos Angel, and Warrock Vanquisher. Yeah, so the Which Vanquisher we knew from the uh, written up uh, yes. preview a little while back. So Which is neither here nor there. The Duster looks really yeah. good. Yeah, the Duster know. looks phenomenal. I, I, don't, I don't know how we saw it though. I will not play it over my video game promo. I will. It was leaked on Twitter. And by Twitter, I mean the Facebook group that you probably shouldn't go into because you'll get put on a list, like we are. <laughs> um, yeah, looks good. War Rock the Vanquisher. Really wish it wasn't in there. Um, Chaos Angel. It would have been fine if yeah. they kept it in there if they didn't just, like, get rid of two of its best cards. Eh. Anyway. But yeah. Um, story. So yeah, when's that release? The Supers again? in the set are pretty shit. Uh, no, yes. there was a... It's an outdated OGS Super back. Coddle! The um, Chimera. That. It was the one common. Oh, one. sure. That is okay. the best super that they gave. Yeah. Because the rest of them are all Now they all match on the ban list. It, like, that's a super. Oh, oh and uh, Pearly as well. Had. And Saphira. There is an oh, ulti. We don't even play that Saphira, do we? The, the Ritual Saphira. Do you not play Ritual Saphira? I don't think so. I thought it's one of Because the ulti went. I have an ulti if you want to play it. Um, <laughs> next question. Uh, well, next news. <laughs> next news. Um, Master Duel. Nah, I'm not going back to that. We can talk about that next week. Um, we got some more uh, hints of what's coming in the Rarity 2 collection. Uh, which <laughs> is... Reprinting Pearly after they hit it. Yep. Uh, so my friend Pearly uh, and Pearly Pretty Memory are going to be in there. Uh, solemn Judgment, Solemn Warning, and Solemn Strike all getting prints. And Solemn Scolding. Mm, no. Nah. I, I think so. reprint all of them. Scolding was cool. It's never been reprinted. Huh. Outside of its Megaton. Huh. Uh, we've got Book oh, so of Moon. It's got two it's secrets. Probably a secret, this two. Book of Moon, Book of Eclipse. Well, of course it will. There's preparation of Rites and e -Telly and Gold Sark. Uh, oh. Diddy Crow and Saravis. Mm -hmm. First ever Saravis reprint. Yeah, Ritual Saravis. It's not 
we, there's two. It's yeah, it's it's in outside of its original reprint. Because <laughs> yeah, we we talked about this on the podcast. Well, I'm like, I was thankful that it was in the set we liked that was ranked number one last year. Was it? Yeah, no, it wasn't. We didn't. It's rank- reprinted in this rarity collection. It was in Amazing Defenders. Oh, did we rank that number one? Yeah, it also had a was printing. It? I ranked that number. It also had it an wasn't ultra ranked number one. It also had an ultra printing. Oh, rarity collection one, and then well. you're mad. Should be number one. Number one in our hearts. Stolen. Stop the count. <laughs> Wait, this, the count has stopped long ago. The count stopped. You were doing the counting. <laughs> one heart. Amazing heart. defenders. One heart. <laughs> <laughs> we move. We move, and we move on to questions. Uh, so, if you weren't aware, we do have a Discord link. Will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in, say hi, and ask us questions. Uh, first question this week comes to us from six r six. The poll. Uh, is it actually any different from when? Previous best decks have been at their peak price-wise uh, in terms of the expense of the competitive game. Uh, it seems like the best decks are always around a thousand to twelve hundred dollars. Yeah. Uh, he cited Sword Soul, Kashira, Tier Element, yeah. uh, Teladad, and Striker. Yeah. Um, We're in a, like the all the formats end up at this price point. The the issue is that people are like the the stuff you mix it with was budget. <laughs> Why is why is the stuff that makes it good not budget? Yeah, I and suppose. That's where we are. Yeah, the issue is that the most one of the most expensive cards in the set being Bonfire, or one of the like in that sort of fiery era, is the card that the budget players needed. Whereas previously, you didn't care that much that Sword Soul Moyi or um, Kashtira Unicorn were super expensive because you weren't playing them. Hmm. Remember, kids, Rapier was a super budget deck. Yeah, that deck wasn't that bad. Yeah, let's mm-hmm. ignore the cost of Zodiac. Well, Barrage was only 300. Like, didn't need to play it. Barrage was only 110, 120 only. <laughs> and Dryness uh, and Bulbos were 60 uh, a pop. Yeah, so but that only gets it only gets up to about 500. <laughs> and then let's talk about the cost of the Solemn Strikes you'd have to play, the cost of the Ash Blossoms Strikes you'd play. Strikes was reprinted by then. One reprint. It was still like 40 bucks. It was a super tin. Not, not yet. What? Yeah, it wasn't. It was secret in a... I swear, super solemn. No. Strike. I know for a fact it had not be reprinted as super yet. What? Because it was that, the Mega Tin of the year before, it was secret again. Because I bought a bunch of that Mega Tin to get the Pot of Desires. And the oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The solemn yeah, strikes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, the issue isn't so much that the cards are expensive, it's that they're generic and expensive. Yes. And then Ash Blossom came out a month in. Oh, yeah. They went, it's okay, guys. Rats at one. Here's Ash Blossom. <laughs> So yeah, to stop the rest of rats, you need this. Yes. I miss rat. Decks are always going to be expensive. Yeah. Just that Pokemon player. Like, where they, like, they were whinging about how expensive their game is. And I'm like, I looked at the price of the deck, they were saying it's too expensive. It was like 90 bucks. Like, I'm waiting for this card to come down in price. It was Polky, I think. And it was like 20 bucks. I'm like... I hate you. <laughs> you don't even the know. The last time I remember a card being expensive in Pokemon was like Dedenne. And that was like $45. And that's a card that everyone could play. Yes. Uh, yeah, like this. It, you're right. It is just... The meta is always going to be kind of expensive. It doesn't make sense. Like there was a point where then they doubled the amount of secret rares we get. And then the prices came down a little. But then we're back up. It's like all out the window. I was like, it's kind of weird. We can't really, we can't really use Teladad because Teladad was genuinely that expensive. Yeah. Like those Dark Arm Dragons were hard to find. As opposed to now, where that we don't have If you bought a case, you get a playset. Yeah. Just like most things. Not now. Yeah, nowadays. Yeah. Um, Before I get on to the next question, well, actually, it's kind of relation to the next question. Uh, What was the result of our uh, Spotify poll this week for our most anticipated anime? Uh, um, A bunch of ties on a few votes. Uh, Striker Zeus and Visus all uh, come in second. Uh, Melfi, Delbostar, and Magistus all get ignored. Albaz wins out. We've got a bunch of Albaz fans in the audience. The people want to see Albaz. Look. I am kind of curious to see it play out. I don't think... I, I think I'd rather see Zeus. Yeah, I want to see a mecha. Well, if he was second, he can... Yeah, yeah. But a type of striker. Who voted for Zeus? I mean, you're going to get people voting for striker no matter where you go. I'm kind of curious. I wish that there was a way that we could track who did the voting because if I found the Sky Striker people, I would somehow ban their accounts. You're on a list. 
Uh, we know. Jake's just joking that I'd we watch don't know. I'd watch a striker. But I would also watch the Elba Star one. I'm kind of curious where to go next. Because Goblin Blackers is next. Do we know what's in the next set? Uh, oh, Dear Bells. We'll find out. And was there anything like... So there's no other archetypes? No, it was only, it was only her support. Oh. There's no direct... Uh, yeah, so it's not, uh, so not going to be like another thesis where it's just like, oh, every new one is the next chapter this Maybe time. Is Goblin just... Yeah. Maybe. Unless the um, new tri type is somehow linked, but there's no cards that correspond. I think it's supposed to be. Well, the goblins but, don't, do they? Yeah. The there's artwork, artwork that has her. Oh, no, artwork, in there, but the but goblins. Like, there's yeah. nothing that links them, but there's yeah. no artwork that links her to the new tri type either. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It probably um, does. But yeah, the reason I brought that up is six i six. Next question is: What other archetypes would you like to see an episode slash series of? And should the anime storylines follow the combo lines? I don't uh, remember. I don't remember what we were shitting off. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll just go on crazy. Last week we said a few. I want to see True Draco versus fucking. Oh, True Draco would be that, pretty cool. That Actually, yeah, the masterpiece yep. storyline would be kind of cool. Yeah, give me that. I mm. want that. They like. It shouldn't even be a thing of like, oh, random archetypes. They should just do series of each of the lore lines. So the, the world legacy, the Freed. dual, whatever it is, um, terminal. Yeah. Um, like all of those. Like the story is there. Makes or, a scientist. New Adora. Makes Impachi. Blazing Impachi? Oh, yeah, the Impachi story. I want to see the Impachi story. That'd be sick. It's all in the cards, it's pretty sad. I mean, yeah, you can say that literally about any law line. I don't like it when things catch on fire. Then why are you playing a fire deck? He puts fires because out! fire out, Jake! No, 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 your current fire deck. They're the kings. It puts your own shit on fire. No, they're the kings, they tell the fire what to do. Yeah. Except they're popping your own shit, more often than not. Yeah, they tell that fire what to do. Other shit catches on fire and they like, get in a bin. <laughs> Next question. Uh, next and last question uh, is from Raigai. Are there any decks you consider yourself to be an expert on? Oh god, not anymore. Dragon Man. Like, I put so many hours into Cosmo, and it's all gone. It's all worthless knowledge. Yeah, it, besides the fact it is worthless knowledge, I could pick that deck up now and go, oh, I'm lost. Like, so many lines, everything just gone. So, no, I'm not an expert in anything. Um, I'd like to think I'm pretty good at Mech Knights. Um, I'm okay at Orcist. I'm getting good at Gate Guardian. Orcist changes. Expert, Jake. The question was expert. Yeah, no, I'm just cycling through the decks to work out what I would be an expert Ask on. Ask guy to give you a definition of what the expert is. Raigai, I expect that in the comment section. I mean, it's a very low ceiling, but let's say invoked. Man knows how to normal summon. And then link and then link again. No, you don't link again, don't be stupid. I thought that then puts a fire and a light in grief. Then you get Almirage into the I mean, there's no wins. shortage of fire, especially in the current format. You don't need to link twice, you just make um, Spellcaster one. Point down one? The point up one. Make oh, the point up I one. I thought she point down. Nah, she point up. Oh. oh no, my fusion deck doesn't have a link zone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got nothing. I could be good at Striker if I tried, but that's not saying much. Oh no. He is the master of faster. Really not. The Sultan of Speed. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that does conclude us for this week. Um, oh, we what's have... the poll? What's the poll? Yeah. Yeah, what's I was just thinking. Um, I was thinking maybe uh, what deck. What deck should you... Jake expertise? Maybe we should have uh, Ragai let you know how sentence structure works. <laughs> I started the sentence and I was like, I don't know how I'm finishing this. <laughs> we'll just arrive at the end and see how we go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, let's say, yeah, what deck you feel... Um, let's not direct this one at me because I feel like all of them have been directed at me. Let's you say are the host of the podcast. Ben, I am, but uh, as host I'm going to delegate and say uh, what deck you feel Ben should master. Other than Dragon Mate, because that's cheating. We all know it's it's Goblin Bikes. I am the greatest person in that deck at all, despite the fact that I haven't read every card and don't really know what they do. 
Uh, but that does conclude for this week. Uh, if you are watching along with Spotify, feel free to vote in the poll and favourite. If you're watching on YouTube, like and subscribe. Jump into our Discord, ask us some questions, and we'll catch you all next week. Peace. <laughs>